Good morning, students. It's me, Ms. Sanya, and today we are back with another lesson. As you all know that we have completed different parts of population in the previous lecture, in which we have already studied about the demographic transition model. But after discussing about all of the stages that first we were in this stage, then what happened in the next stage, it is very important to know about the factors affecting those stages as well. So in this presentation, we are going to discuss about all of those factors which affect population growth. But before moving forward, hurry up, grab your notebook along with pencil and pen and start noting the important pointers. And yes, you're already familiar with the other guidelines. All right. <clears throat> there is a picture which you can see on your screen. There are multiple people who are standing on different colors of pie chart. So we are going to discuss about how all of these people are getting affected by the population growth. SLO number 7.1.4 explained the social, educational, economic, and political factors which contribute to population growth. According to this SLO, it has been asked that you have to highlight about the social, it means the social environment, uh, for uh, social means that all of those people who are living into your surrounding, how you're interacting with them. Educational means education, that how much education you're acquiring into your career. Economic means that here you're talking about the government as well and the money as well. And political factor, political completely means that you're talking about government, which contribute to population growth. That how it is contributing towards the population growth, the expansion of population. All right. Now, there are multiple factors which affect population growth. Number one, physical and social environment. As I've mentioned before, that how many people are living in your surrounding and how you're interacting with them. Number two, demographic factor. It means that the location where you're living, how you're interacting, and what um, is actually the situation into your surrounding, that is, the demogra uh, de demographic factor. Then comes political factor. It means that how you're responding to the government actions. Economic factor. Do you have that much income to feed your families? And how much income you have? How, did, how do you divide your budget? In the identical factors, identical factors is also one of the important factor that uh, how you're identified into the society. Then cultural factor, cultural means cultural constraints, those customs and traditions which you are following from your ancestors and descendants. All right, moving forward. Social factor. Well, social factor plays a very important role when we are discussing about population growth. Number one is early marriages. It happens into our society that uh, early marriages are not allowed but still people prefer early marriages still in village life and the major reason is because they have to expand their families increase in birth and desire for son then why there is an increase in birth rate because if you are talking about those people who are living in village areas but not only village areas into the urbanization era as well more children they are requiring because they need uh, they have a desire for the sun why they have a desire for the sun because the sun will look after the business the sun will look after the job the sun will feed the family you cannot expect this thing still in today's society from women despite of the fact women empowerment is enhancing day by day but still there are few places in pakistan as well in villages as well that women are not getting freedom to study so this is the major factor which still exists into our society. Then the next factor is polygamy more than two wives at a time. So you can see that polygamy is still present into our society that you can have more than two wives at a time and the current situation of Pakistan which is going on. So they are having, um, they have declared a law that if you want to have another wife so you can have it legally. So this uh, law has been declared by the government in 2020. Then the next one, increase in immigration of Afghan refugees. Afghan refugees were immigrated and they came to Pakistan. And the major reason was because, um, you know, they were refugees. Refugees means the person who don't have any land to live in. This is the main reason they migrate to another nation. 
to feed the families and to make the conditions better. Then no family planning, obviously social factor in multiple families, as I've mentioned before about it, why there is an increase in birth rate because they're having desire for son. Then it means they're not having any family planning. The major focus is the desire for the son. Then cultural traits. Cultural traits means whatever your forefathers are following, you have to follow the same thing. That is basically the mindset of multiple people. Then male is the decision maker. Obviously, it depends and it still exists in the society. Either I talk about the village life, either I talk about the city life, this uh, role or you can say that this point plays a very important role still and it exists into our society. Lack of woman empowerment. As I've mentioned before about it, still there are villages where women are not getting freedom to study. Still there are families in cities who don't prefer women to study. The concept is that women have to get married and women have to go into another house and she have to live there. So despite of the fact investing money on uh, the education, it's better that she should be taught about the household stuff and then that person have to get married to someone else to so do invest on uh, do invest to you know on the materials which you have to provide them in marriage but don't invest on the education then the last one is increase in crime rates well you cannot say that it is the last one there are thousands of factors which exist in social but we are emphasizing on few of the factors and automatically when you're not having money in your pocket or when you are not having that much that you can spend onto your family to feed them then automatically crime rate is expanding day by day then comes the education factor education factor is one of the most important factor which exists still into our society number one lack of resources we are not having that much resources to feed our family and uh, the major reason is that uh, still uh, be uh, whatever the situation is going on in 2020 the current situation According to this current situation, people are getting unemployed. They're not having, despite of the fact they do have qualification, but we cannot offer that much jobs to people. This is the psychology of uh, the organizations who are running multinational firms. The major reason is if you're not getting money from the other end, how can we pay it to our employees? So they are firing the people who are working for them. So there are lack of resources in educational field as well. Why? because we need stationery, we need different accessories. If I, still I, if I talk about the village life, then we are not having that much resources. For example, desk and chairs still are not there. So they used to study and they, they used to sit on ground and they used to study. Now there are another factor is cultural constraints. When I talk about cultural constraints, so there are two kind, kinds of mindset which exist into our society. Number one, when I talk about village life, so the guy, the boy, is not allowed to study that much the major reason is those who are already having um, different lands and different you know valuable properties so it is always always said to them that if a child is born and if the child is male so he is going to acquire all of these properties in the future so they focus on marriage of that child rather than investing uh, on the education now when i talk about the other class that is the poor class if a child is born, they don't have that much money to invest it on money. They do say that the, the child of our family will work in the farm and he will look after the family members. So these are all are the two kind of mindset which exist in the society. Then the third one, and yes, in cultural constraints, when I talk about women, so women are also having uh, the same thing, but not in this sense that uh, if you are having property, so don't study, nothing like that. Basically, still in our societies, women are not allowed to come out of homes and they're not allowed to study. I've already told you the reason that they have to go and uh, they have to get married and they'll be going into another family. That is the main reason. Okay. Now, the third point is increasing cost of education. Automatically, this is pretty much understood by you. Education in today's life is um, uh, expensive and not every family cannot afford education that's why now coming towards the economical factor economic means that here you're talking about the government and here you're also talking about the money as well okay so coming towards this factor it is increasing cost of living and housing obviously 
if you're living in the urban life that is the city life so city life means that you are entering into a competition with the other people other people so automatically you have to pay more amount of money for the living and to look after your family members in fact the current situation of covid 19 due to this thing everything is expensive either it's about pakistan either it's in anywhere in the world it is expensive uh when i talk about food items when i talk about medicines so automatically everything is expensive in the current situation then there is a rise in unemployment i have already mentioned you they don't have money to pay to the employees so that's why unemployment is increasing then the third one is lack of resources we are not having that much resources to look after every citizen living in the country poverty is increasing day by day and due to this crime rates are also increasing people of rural or urban people of rural areas are dependent upon agriculture so they need their child to work on farms to feed their family then there is a desire for son to work on farm then migration and urban concentrations rural from rural areas people are migrating to urban areas for a better living standard then coming towards political factor where there are three important political factors which we are going to study number one political instability it means that we are not following all of those rules and regulations which are told by the government to be followed number two lack of effective family planning schemes are there uh, there are few fewer family planning schemes and there is like lack means that we are not having that much family planning schemes and despite of the fact that we are uh, moving towards the campaigns the awareness campaigns we are delivering awareness campaigns into multiple areas but still this thing is not working on a greater extent now number three cultural constraints cultural constraints means that you have to follow each and every cultural uh, revolution or you can say that you have to follow each and every cultural objectives which have been followed by your ancestors and descendants so you have to do the same thing now the assignment for today is question number one explain the social educational economic and political factors which contribute to the population growth in pakistan so thank you so much everyone i hope this presentation turned out to be something very important and informative for all of you and i hope that all of those concepts are pretty much clear if you are having still any questions, so you can ask me on KP under my instructions. Inshallah, I'll return back with another presentation for all of you. Till then, take care. Barakallah. And